Hello students, we are providing the online classes as we are working from home. Today I will discuss class 12th chemistry chapter 6 and uh, this is the fifth video on on this chapter and today topic is extraction of copper from cuprous oxides. Second one topic is here extraction of zinc from zinc oxide and third one is the extraction of aluminium from the alumina or bauxite ores. So first topic I will discuss first here extraction of copper from cuprous oxides. Under this extraction this is the thermal reduction and uh, copper ores or cuprous oxides is heated in reverberatory furnace and we get, get here the what iron silicate as a slag and copper mate as a byproduct. And uh, this copper mate again placed here the uh, char and silica line converted and following reaction take place. So I will discuss here the reaction. So now you see first reaction will be here the FES plus O2 will get here the FeO plus SO2 already you know this is the what roasting process sulfides when heated in presence of air you will get oxides and the SO2 and this FeO this FeO act as a improvement so silica line is here and silica line SiO2 act as a what flux and this will form here the what iron silicate FeSiO3 as a slag slag here so this is FeO is a impurity, impurity and SiO2 is a flux. This is the flux. And what kind of the flux? This is the acidic flux. Acidic here. And this is the impurity. Now, second one is the copper mate here. This copper mate Cu2S, Cu2S react with oxygen and it will give here the Cu2O plus SO2 and further remaining Cu2S further react with the copper oxides Cu2O and it will, will give here the copper plus SO2 and this copper is called blister copper because th this copper having the shining means copper which is obtained from the uh, uh, river battery furnace that having the particular shining here and brightness that uh, due to presence of SO2 gas that is why it is called the blister copper blister copper blister copper means having the specific sign second one topic is here extraction of zinc from zinc oxides this is also a thermal reduction so this zinc oxides ores ZnO is heated with with coke at the temperature of 1675 Kelvin and you will get here the zinc plus CO carbon monoxide we use here the coke not the carbon monoxide because already you know according to Elikham diagram the coke will give here the more negative delta G naught as compared to carbon monoxide that is why we use here the coke now I will discuss here next topic extraction of aluminium from alumina extraction of aluminium from alumina now you see here uh, this is take place in a electrolytic reduction thermal reduction is not possible because the required temperature is uh, much higher and this will give the uh, uh, due to which um, process become the uneconomical that is why we apply here the electrolytic reduction here under the electrolytic reduction this is called the hall herald process the alumina is placed in a iron tank lining with carbon carbon and some cryolites also placed in this Hall Herald process and cryolites as you know it uh, decreases the melting point of the bauxites as a result alumina 
or bauxites easily melt and form the Al3 plus and oxygen 2 minus. And this is the function of cryolites. And anode is here graphite and cathode work here the car carbon. So now you see the reaction. What reaction need take place here? So first of all, Al2O3 will get decomposed here. Al3 plus and oxygen 2 minus in molten state. Molten state. Now at the anode, at anode, reaction will be here. Anode is positively charged. So what? Oxygen will get deposited here and graphite means carbon and carbon react with oxygen 2 minus and it will give the carbon monoxide plus 2 electrons and further this carbon monoxide react with the oxygen 2 minus and it will produce the CO2 plus 2 electrons and uh, at the cathode at the cathode cathode is negatively charged so this Al3 plus will get deposit here so Al3 plus reduce here and it form Al as a liquid that's it and uh, now pause the video and write down all these